Below the mountains of Mordor lie the nation of Switzerland. Now, I know what you must be thinking. Oh, Ludi, is this the mercenary heavy nation? Well, yes, it can be a mercenary heavy nation, but Switzerland excels not only at mercenaries, but also at being a really good economic powerhouse and playing toll. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to be showing both aspects of this particular nation. So let's start it off. First, I got to mention that the mission tree is fairly small however you can always form another nation afterwards and switch over to their mission tree but despite being small it offers a lot of interesting things such as permanent 10% advisor cost reduction permanent 10% fort defense the ability to recruit the Swiss home guards as well as some more interesting permanent bonuses like the uh, morale of armies and prestige before we navigate all of that of course we will start with an alliance with the three leagues if we get enough relations with the three leagues we can get an event where where they actually become our subjects without us having to get aggressive expansion from conquering their lands. That being said though, it's not too much aggressive expansion since we get cores on all of the Savoyan, Genovese and Three League lands once we do 1 stability and 90% force limit. That gets me to the reason why 1 stability is very important, not only for that mission, but also because if we get 1 stability, we can get passive prosperity in our lands and that's eventually going to give us dev cost reduction, goods produced, and monthly autonomy, which is of course every playing toll player's big wet dream. The amount of mana points you get are determined by the starting uh, leader, well the starting mana generation, which of course is determined by the leader. Switzerland being a public gets a randomly assigned leader at the start of the campaign, so it can be a 0, 0, 0 or a 666 depending on how many times you're willing to restart. I got a little bit of bad RNG because I got one admin, ideally you want to restart until you get uh, I think it's three or four admin so you get above a hundred admin points from day one so you can get the stability you can hire your mercenaries and, and then you can essentially do this mission consolidate Switzerland before you even have one month pass in the game but now we're gonna have to wait a little bit till we get the admin points sadly standard estate as always give out the plus one mana privilege for all three of these states when it comes to our rivals we want to rival nations that we can actually win a human humiliation war again so we get a hundred of each mana points in the early bit of the campaign so that would be of course Mulhouse, Milan even and I would wager Provence is not going to be so difficult provided that Burgundy is actually going to attack him early on in this campaign so that is indeed a little bit RNG. We also want to get good relations with the Pope to do in one of our missions and they absolutely hate our guts however the Pope is easily swayed by spending some monies so we got the uh, indulgence bot that means we got an extra 70 five relations with the Pope to get the mission expand the Swiss Guard we just need to get the relations with them so it's almost there no not to fear it's it's gonna eventually get there let's see what other alliances we can get here first before we do anything else and we're gonna target mostly nations around us that would actually be able to help us out as well as if possible some of the electors that have a little bit of sway in the uh, HRE don't forget to also get the uh, burger loans 1% loan interest so they're absolutely uh, delicious and let's fill up our advisor here we are losing a little bit of money but that's a-okay we're gonna make more money after we increase our economy we do start with 10% professionalism so before we recruit any mercenary company we got to get rid of this so the way to do that is basically to just slack in recruitment and that's gonna use up your professionalism as well as it's gonna increase your manpower recovery by 100% we're not gonna do it now though we're gonna wait until we start some of the wars and we're ready for that in the meanwhile we're gonna get some regular units here we're not gonna get the free company just yet since we will not have any early on wars so I know it's kind of ironic that uh, we're playing as Switzerland but we're not getting mercenaries which is a fairly standard thing for me to do in most of my campaigns whilst these boys here are getting recruited you also need to start your recruitment process by pressing that subscribe button to be a part of Ludi's Legion the world's most esteemed gathering of virginaries feared by cartographers around the world 
world. And hey, if we get 8,000 likes in the first few days after this is out, I'm gonna do Switzer Lake own 99 provinces without owning a port. Now I'm saying that many likes because, uh, you know, you, you, you bastards, you actually are giving me 5,000 likes early on. <laughs> and now I already have a lot of part twos I need to finish doing in the queue, which is why I'm making it a little bit harder for this particular campaign because I'm, I'm fairly certain we're not actually gonna get 8,000 in the first few days. One of the reasons why I recommend that you get the relations with the three leagues is because a lot of the time they ally Austria in which case it's gonna be fairly impossible to actually get them provinces from here via war because you would literally have to fight the Austrians to get that so uh yeah this is definitely the easier approach oh my god seriously I can actually get an alliance with the French <laughs> I mean I, I was thinking to get a Venetian alliance to fight the Milanese, but the French are massively better than the, than pretty much anything else really here. Let's uh let's get the French alliance, I guess. We can use them against Burgundy. Maybe we can get some provinces from Burgundy before they uh get the Burgundian inheritance. That's that's totally doable, right? Honestly, that's just the thing that I really adore about this game. No matter what, every single game you have in EF4 is completely different from the other games you had as the same nation. That's why this game's gonna have a lot of replay ability although we all know that uh, e5 is secretly getting developed right boys right boys and tinto oh we got a little bit of bad luck boys looks like uh, geneva here actually managed to get all three of the provinces so that might not be the best outcome for us sadly it means we're gonna eventually have to attack the savoyans to get these lands we're not gonna get this from the event but it is what it is i've also canceled my alliance with the french i can still get it though even though i got minus 15 from uh, breaking the alliance because i have friendly attitude towards me by the French that might change soon let's see hopefully it doesn't because I will wait until they start the war with the English so I can give them Condottieri for a very secret Switzerland event that I'm really excited to show you guys not weird at all the fact that the three leagues decided to keep their units in Zurich for some reason but uh okay sure thing uh broski I mean whatever you want sir all right let's see they don't have friendly relations with me no that changed really fast well feels bad man I honestly made a mistake i should have waited until the war triggered i realized after i sent the alliance that i uh, i should have waited until the war triggered and send it afterwards but it's a game where you make mistakes you live and learn that's what they say right let's start paying off our units because we will be attacking mulhausen with the humiliation cb whilst we're waiting for the diplo vassalization well the event to vassalize the three leagues in the meanwhile hopefully everything goes according to plan and we have an easy war against them Palatinat's in this as well, so uh, we gotta be a little bit careful here. We gotta be a little bit sneaky and uh, not get our asses handed to us by the uh, Gretenstein Palatinatsky. Let's wipe out their units whilst we can. Oh, come on, come on, catch up to them, catch up to them. Hey, we catched up to them. And that's the end of Mulhausen's armies. Let's, um, can we actually, they got 7,000. You know what, I feel like the proper play here is to work our way over to the Palatinat lands. I'm gonna leave behind one unit and I'm gonna say, and the rest of the army over into the north take out these boys whilst we can and five republican tradition no man i hate this event i mean whatever way you go it's it's not really amazing so it is what it is all right they go siege us a little bit of yes and then maybe we can do a white piece with the palatinat or if not they want to fight this out we can get some ducats from them i guess too but that being said i'm fairly certain once we crush their armies here and we are technically sieging down their capital and we did stack wipe them actually they're gonna be more than willing to give me uh at least a white piece right uh you know what i'm gonna send this army over there i'm gonna leave one stack here and then the rest of this i'm gonna send over to Oberfalz to make sure that they actually will give me that white piece oh mines is deciding to help me out in this cool but most importantly these guys are at war i'm gonna give them some condottieri as soon as i finish my particular engagement so let's uh let's hope that that's gonna be sooner rather than later we don't want to miss out that special event i was talking about halfway there with this particular war yeah it's it's final boys we're gonna have to siege down the cap sadly they're not piecing out until we get their capital these bastardos here oh the english got the war of the roses too i'm looking forward to see how exactly they're gonna get themselves out of this particular engagement they got here both at war with the french and the civil war that is not a good situation at all speaking of great situations can you please just fall thank you heidelberg very kind of you i'm gonna need some war reparations from you sir as a tribute for the pain you've inflicted on myself and now let's go with these bad boys here we're gonna go with the show of strength, a boom shakalokos. We got 300 of each mana points, meaning we 
we can get the first Diplotech 4 and the first Miltech 4. So we got 8 innovativeness from being the first to get these two techs. Plus, as of 1.35, getting Show of Strength also gives us the age objective of Humiliate Rival. Prior to this uh, particular patch, you would need to actually get the Humiliate Rival in a regular Conquest War against your rivals rather than being able to get that with the show of strength and now let's give our condottieri over to the french there you go we gave them out for free not to despair though it is tactical free condottieri because uh it is for the benefit of all swiss people that the french win because look at that champions of the hundred years war they got the war score which means we got for free 10 army tradition and five army professionalism from just giving out these condottieri we didn't even need to fight in this war the french did all the work we just managed to uh, reap the benefits of their particular work as they say back in romania play smart don't play hard really that's that's what they say of course when it comes to re-election we're gonna keep herr gerhardt over here blank wait his last name is blank um okay Mr. Blank. And every time he gets re-elected, Mr. Blank gets one extra of each mana points for each of the categories. However, we cannot just keep him around forever, right? He's also quite old, so he might pass away before his term is due. We got our second tier reform fairly early in the campaign because we are getting a ton of monthly reform progress. That is because our average autonomy is 6.8% right now. And the way that you calculate this is basically average autonomy multiplied, in my case, by Republican tradition and clerical education lowers this a little bit for now it was actually increasing it before I just seized land so now it's lowering it but in fact I was getting close to 1.5 monthly because of clerical education and Republican tradition which is why we're gonna go for this the extra manpower and nobility loyalty equilibrium will come in handy in the wars that we shall start fairly soon oh I can get a juicy alliance with Bohemia I'm gonna cancel my Württemberg alliance in that case feel like Württemberg is a fair trade when it comes to getting the mighty Bohemia who are rival to the Austrians so even better because as you probably know historically Switzerland and Austria were not the bestest of friends the Austrians having lost one of the most horrific battles against the Swiss in which the Swiss pikemen became the dominant type of unit in medieval Europe being cheaper and easier to train as well as to replace than the uh, hardened Austrian knight on horseback oh look at that Savoy Boys defender against Burgundian attack on Verdun. Oh, my other rival of Provence. That means they're at war with Burgundy. Okay, this is going to be juicy as schnapps because potentially I will be able to attack either Provence or Savoy to get my cores over here from their vassal, depending on the outcome of this war against the Burgundians. So my, my money is on Burgundy. Come on, Burgundy. You got this. And finally, we got the Swiss Confederation. We can expand the Confederation by inheriting the three leagues or not. Not. I'm gonna inherit them of course juicy schmagusi as they say in uh, the three leagues that's totally something they say there for sure trust me bro and let's bring these boys over here now absolutely stunning let's maintain this fort we believe in fully maintained fortifications over in Switzerland guys now that I got that extra diplo slot open I'm gonna go back and get that Wurttemberg Alliance because I got nine favors with them so I'm gonna be able to call them into my war in a few moments when I declare the next war Gonna also revoke the Condottieri so I can actually use my own units oh this is not good i really hope that uh savoy doesn't give burgundy these lands that would really cuck me big time i love how when you execute the bailiff as a republic you actually get corruption reduction and republican tradition now so uh as such i'm gonna be doing something that's extremely smart i'm gonna be debasing currency and then after i'm gonna lower that uh, corruption I get from debasing by selecting that particular event. So we basically just got 41 ducats for free. All right, now considering everything that's happening, me attacking Provence for Humility Rival is essentially a free 300 mana points I'd be getting. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even kidding here. But I want to go for the big game. I want to attack Milan for Humility Rival and then Provence because if I attack Milan now, Provence would not join, which means they cancel the alliance, and then I can attack Provence after and other allies of Savoy and Florence are not joining also so this is just a massive freaking brain let's go with that 600 mana points foul free 
three basically and uh and yeah i guess 46 ducats so let's do war number one i'm gonna call trier and Württemberg in this war so i have a little bit of an easier time and because these guys are my neighbors here both of their armies i'm gonna be able to wipe out their armies from the start of the war there you go milan's got no more troops and bragance has got no more troops in a few moments from now I'm not gonna call in the last one that i can call in Sa saxony i'm gonna keep them from later and after one month we can attack these guys for yet another 300 mana point hey <laughs> boy boy give me them mana points boy i've uh i may i may be a massive christopher judge fan just saying stargate as you want forever okay the best tv show you got a problem with that well then indeed you gotta take it with somebody else oh what do you know you see this bro another four innovativeness and another four so we have 16 innovativeness because we're the pioneers of technology in this game boys that's what's up here and also change this but i'll do it on the last day of this particular month so i don't get my ass stack and all right let's go and there you go we got the new yunotsky as they say um yeah i'm gonna have to carpet seize the rest of this country quickly come on do it do it do it please oh no Aragon. Why are you at war with Milan, actually? Hold on a second. Oh, Burgundy's allied to Aragon. What? Okay, that changes a lot of dynamics in this area, boys. You know, I'm slowly realizing that uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm using a lot of Showa Strengths in my recent videos because, honestly, in the early part of the campaign, Showa Strengths are just an absolute invaluable mana source, especially if you're playing Toll in your particular games. Since, you know, countries are a lot smaller, so a lot easier to deal with, then later down the line in campaigns. Speaking of, let's actually um, leave 1,000 and let's take this big army and destroy Fira's army too. And we managed to catch up to them. I realized they're gonna go to Kuneo, so I uh, intercepted them. You should always do this as well in your campaigns. Check out where the enemy is going and then intercept Dius Maximus. Let's see, now they're gonna give us the white PCS 5352. That is beautiful. Don't need any more than that. And now let's go back here. We're gonna need to keep our units on the ready whenever we can actually siege down Milan's capital. We got the rest of the unit sieging down Brabant, so pretty much that's it. The war is won. Cannot siege any of Provence's provinces yet because they're all occupied, so I'll just wait until they uh, do the peace deal. And of course, for me, this freaking fortification goes up to 49% because why wouldn't it, right, guys? I mean, oh, come on, Burgundy. Really, dude? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, Burgundy. I actually freaking hate you right now. You got two of my cores, you bastards. You greedy bastards. Oh, I would so attack them now because Aragon's not joining. But hey, on the bright side, they still got Philippe. They don't have Charles, so there's still time before the Burgundian inheritance, I guess. Also realize that because uh, Savoy's got an, a lot smaller now, I could probably do a humiliation war against them since I don't need their provinces here. So that's another 300 mana points, boys. Hello. Wait, what? Provence is now at war with the French as well. Come on, dude. I feel like France is absolutely killing everybody around them. Oh, Austria's in that war. <gasps> Oh, juicy boys, juicy, juicy, because Provence joined the Empire. Oh boy, it's gonna be interesting to see, guys. And we got this province, let's go. Fully assign Exatius, because we got a core in this bad boy here, so we don't need to worry about uh, the Emperor asking us for unlawful territory or anything. Now let's uh, wait for the Milanese War to finish, and I guess for everybody to uh, take their turn sniffing out the bottom of Provence here before we can actually piece them out. I wanna give a massive thank you to uh, all of the Milanese people watching this video. If it wasn't for you guys, I really wouldn't be able to uh, infiltrate the fortification of Milano and take them by surprise. So thank you for betraying your nation and joining the Virginary Legion. You guys are awesome. Wait, what? Who said that? Shut up, Ludi. Stop being weird. I also left behind uh, some units here just in case the AI sometimes decides to leave the siege and then I can get the lead of the siege after they leave. But it doesn't always happen. It's just like, you know, sometimes. So just in in case I left my units there let's see another great tip is uh, whenever you're actually sieging down enemy provinces keep your units in enemy provinces because you never know how much money those provinces might have look at this they got nine ducats worth of loot so my boys are getting that you can see in the income tab here spoils of war is essentially from uh, keeping units over enemy provinces let's go ahead and get the first idea Gruppenstein yeah yeah Schnell Chanel we're gonna go for plutocratic idea one of my favorite idea sets 
sense because it both mixes in amazing military ideas with playing toll, look at that, dev cost reduction and caravan power, as well as economic stuff like merchant plus one, goods produced plus 10%, even reform progress, flat, morale of armies, and provincial trade power modifier. But aside from that, Prolocratic ideas mixes in amazingly with trade ideas, admin ideas, espionage ideas, and a lot of other ideas. If we go espionage, even for the memes, it would give us a lot of manpower with the Plutocratic, so it's totally worth it in my particular opinion. Let's also get the first idea set since uh, we are already 14 years ahead of time, boys, with our technology. Now, as I was saying, we can get another humiliated rival. We're going to call in Saxony and Württemberg to help us out with this one, and we're going to go against Zemaiti Savoyard. Do they even have any army left? They have 3,000 units. Oh my god, they're going to get crushed. Oh boy, look at that. Lorraine is no longer a PU of... Uh, Provence so because of that can do a separate piece with them which means I can do a lot of these things here I'm gonna go for money though I need the money from them trade power war reps and I'm not gonna pillage capital even though I could that would give me a little bit of development they would lose a lot of dev I don't really have any aggressive expansion because I didn't expand much should I be the bad guy should I pillage their capital just for the memes screw it man no I'm not gonna do it no no you can't force me fine fine I'll are you happy now I pillaged their capital it's all your fault you made me do it I was gonna be the nice guy here okay Chamberi has been a uh, Chamberi under rubble <laughs> ah you like my jokes don't you please please don't go away please stop no please please don't unsubscribe for that stupid i love you you know, let's actually check if Monferrato still has the Palayo Logos. They do! What's really special about Monferrato is that they can actually restore the Byzantines after the Byzantines have been uh, schnappel duped by uh, the Ottomans because they are, in fact, the same dynasty as the uh, 1444 Byzantine dynasty. Some distant relatives of the Byzantines having uh, made their way to the rulership of Monferrato. So that's actually fairly historical. I actually had a Monferrato into Byzantium stream a while back but um I might even do a video out of this if there's support for it. I'm not, I'm not gonna set a like goal for this, but let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to do a Monferrato into Byzantium in the future. And check it out, boys. They're back to friendly relations with us, which means that they will ally us 107 against 41 if we don't include the 1,000 from being at war. So that means once we are at peace, we'll be able to get the French as an ally. And I am gonna use them in my war against uh, Burgundy to get back my provinces, obviously. Oh, this is not Gucci. Savoy just uh, peaced out with Württemberg. Oh, that's uh that's one less on our side. Oh, what? The alliance block is actually destroying my allies. No. Okay, I gotta hurry this up in that case. I need to piece them out before they destroy me, man. We're gonna need a secondary general. We got a semi-decent one, let's say. France just pieced out Provence. Now they're basically a one province miner, so we can do our peace deal. Sadly, I wish this was actually a conquest war because sure, 300 mana points is amazing, but having this as a conquest war would have meant that I could have vassalized them and look at all the cores we could have fed back afterwards. It is what it is though. No problemos. Let's go ahead and get our next idea set beautiful we went up to 21 innovativeness also speaking of and we are absolutely chatting it when it comes to technology but now i'm gonna start divvying up a little bit my lands because well because i can and i got a lot of extra diplo points lying around 904 to be more precise oh i can call in chad Hemia here to help out against these bastardos sure chad Hemia. How, how about you just schnapple dupe these units over here broski how about you just do that for me will you Oh, there you go. That is just juicy. Juicy Bohemians. Freeing over the, the smelly Saxons, my other allies. We've all collectively decided to call them smelly because, well, do I need to elaborate on this? A mere 500 days to take a Mantova. Totally not a huge amount of time. Everybody agrees, right? Right, guys? It's it's not a lot of time, right? All right, we also got a little bit of prestige from that. Now let's go over to Sheena. Well, I guess actually we got to go back because we don't have direct access. Hello there, Ace Fridge. Yeah, we've come to ask for a cup of sugar. And by sugar, I mean all your money, motherfucker. Ah, uh, mercenaries always follow the money. And our plutocratic traditions make mercenary captain think the profit is here. That is why we're going to get more mercs for the time being. We also get 50% more mercenary manpower as well as free policies from our Swiss autonomous cantons. And another 50% from our national ideas alongside mercenary maintenance reduction 
production. And if we mix that in with mercenary ideas, well, suffice to say that we're gonna get a lot of mercenary manpower and mercenary cost reduction. That being said though, I'll be really, really honest with you guys. After Military Tech 7, mercenaries are more expensive than regular units and all of these bonuses combined means that you as the Swift can still have mercs cheaper than regular units up until the late 1400s but uh, afterwards in the 1500s you still have to switch to regular units so despite all the memes about mercenaries it's not as amazing as you might imagine them to be even first nation that's as mercenary inclined as the swiss are and look at all the new mercs we can hire boys the schwarzegard the bandanera reislaufer morlash white company flemish company free company sleepy company all the companies are here hey sienna would like a white piece i do not mind if i do sir because now we can enforce our pcs delius boys there you go 100 143 144 and we just got another 300 mana points absolutely delicious we we got what like almost 2000 mana points just from uh show of strengths now for the biggest maximus boys the alliance with this with i was gonna say spanish with french because they're gonna be of great help against uh the vile Burgundians. There you go. Call them in. We're gonna have to fight the Aragonese too, apparently, but that's a okay in my opinion. Reconquest of these course here. I'm gonna try and snake a little bit and grab some more provinces in this war too that the French likely also have an interest in. So probably what's gonna happen i'm gonna cancel the alliance or better yet they're gonna cancel the alliance with me afterwards that being said it is time for another dev session i'm gonna push a little bit my capital i want to get 30 development in here so i can have the large city age objective fulfilled that does mean that it's gonna be a little bit of extra mana points for this province but it's super super worth it in my opinion on average now we got pretty much uh 15 development in all of our provinces some even more than that a couple even more than that with burn despite being a hill leading the way when it comes to a development now let's get some more units too since we're gonna go for that big juicy war oh come on really trier you are asking me to join your now i was just about to do something bro come on not cool ai nothing to fear the great swiss army is here and we're gonna help him with a few units to siege down this province now i don't actually think that i'm gonna need uh, the bohemians to help me out here but i'm gonna still call them in because i need to make sure this is a quick war i don't want to linger around in this particular engagement let's go for vod as the war target and there was voltius let's go ski please please friends do most of the work for me i really love you thank you so much and look at that we can call in trier okay cool call in trier in that case the more zemerier because trier is the weakest of us all they likely will be focusing on trier also hey look at that charles just got another kid and his name is also charles well that's a very popular name in burgundy isn't it boys well i was wrong burgundy's focusing on france for some reason and and we just got the Shadow Kingdom too. Cool. Oh, dude. Aragon is a junior partner of... Oh, this is just delicious. That means they're not in the war against me anymore. Ha! <laughs> Wait, what? Independence supported by England? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow. Enrique, the starting Enrique, is still the leader. Oh, this is disgusting. I've always found it funny how I can actually ally nations that I'm at war with because, end of the day, you know, some nations, they might be at war with you, but secretly, deep down inside, they actually just want to be friends. I also wish that, you know, if that was the case, they got some extra modifier to help them be uh, at peace with me, let's say, like, plus 10 because good relations or something wait what no this is why i should really pay attention to what i'm doing in the wars instead of ranting about random stuff so now that we've pieced out the neapolitans we pretty much got what we need i mean we could still thrash out the uh, burgundians but i, I just want to piece them out i want to i want to start rebuilding my nation paying off my loans and actually properly playing out this game i'm gonna take these five provinces here it's 36 aggressive expansion so really not that much i'm also gonna give some provinces to the french to get favors with them so that i can help them well so i can use them in the future again that is actually can i give them dijonet as well that would they they don't want dijonet oh it's coming to me okay never mind how about money money 150 
43. Yep, I am okay with this. Screw it, bro. Let's go. That is a fair deal as far as I'm concerned. We got all of our Swiss provinces, a little bit of a buffer zone over here as well. And we can do this mission, Vaud and Valis, as well as Survey Geneva. And we got even more development from that. Plus, we can uh, core these bad boys up now. And I think these are in the HRE, aren't they? Yes, they are. So the Emperor might ask me for unlawful territory, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, it is what it is, sadly. On the plus side, though, we can continue developing and just chilling out, playing toll and making a ton of money. I don't think I've ever had a game in which I had so much extra mana points that I just basically used up in developing freaking hill provinces, man. I mean, come on, really? Sure, not the most efficient development because we don't have the ideas unlocked yet, but it is 1464 and we managed to grow almost double in size by developing our provinces, which is pretty much the definition of playing toll after all, right? So if you enjoy playing toll, check out this awesome Holland video until the next time.